Today, I'm going to introduce you to the Max 32620 Featherboard. It's the perfect way to get started prototyping your next project. In fact, you can just drop the board right into your product to take advantage of all its abilities or incorporate just those elements you need into your design. Let's take a look. This is the Max 32620 Featherboard. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that it's small. It's just two inches long and nine tenths of an inch wide. That's a micro USB on the end, just to get an idea of the scale. It's completely compatible with Adafruit's popular Featherwing form factor and is ready to drop onto a breadboard. Just solder some tenth inch pin headers into the holes along the edge. But just because it's small doesn't mean there's not a lot going on here. Let's start with a microcontroller. It's a Max 32620, an ARM Cortex M4 base device with floating point, DSP extensions, 2 megabytes of flash, 256 kilobytes of RAM, and lots of peripherals. And even though it's fast at 96 megahertz, it's really easy on the battery. Just over 120 microwatts per megahertz in active mode, less than 3 microwatts in sleep mode with data retention, and just over a microwatt in sleep mode with the RTC running. But Here's the thing, the Max 32620 Feather doesn't just give you the microcontroller, you also get the Max 77650 Ultra Low Power Power Management IC. And here's why this is a big deal. Every PMIC can do the basics, you know, take power from a battery and convert it to the voltages required by the microcontroller and its peripherals. But the Max 77650 does much more. It's a single inductor, multiple output, buck boost regulator with three outputs. That little chip right there, that's the only inductor this PMIC needs. The Max 77650 also includes a battery charger with support for lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries. Internal temperature monitors assure safe charging currents and you can use an external thermistor for monitoring right on the battery pack. And you also get a GPIO output and three LED drivers. Now, it's one thing to care for a rechargeable battery. After all, lithium ion batteries require careful management to get the longest service life. But it's quite another thing to accurately determine the state of its charge. And that's why we also include a Max 17055 fuel gauge IC. This monitors the amount of current entering and leaving the battery and provides an accurate estimate for the amount of battery capacity remaining. It uses Maxim's model gauge M5EZ algorithm, and it requires no characterization and provides the best estimates of battery capacity in the industry. Now let's zoom out again and see what else the Max 32620 Feather has to offer. There are three push buttons, one for reset, one that drives the on-off control for the PMIC, and a general purpose push button that connects to a GPIO pin on the micro. There are two tricolor LEDs, one that connects directly to the micro, and one that connects to the LED pins on the PMIC. There's a connector for the battery and a connector for a serial wire debug cable. On the back, there's nothing. No components on the back side, so the board can sit flush if you want to solder it down to another board. Now, take a look at the right side of the board. See those two connectors? They're compatible with a PMOD standard. Two that connect via SPI and one each for I2C and serial. And check this out. There are holes in the PCB so that the PMOD ports are accessible from either side. You can use these ports for PMOD, for standard GPIO, really anything you want. Now, there's one thing I haven't shown you because it's not really something you can see. You get a bootloader built into the micro. That bootloader is CMSYS DAP compatible and can be used with the ARM embed system. Now, if you haven't seen it before, here's how it works. You just plug the board into your computer, PC or Mac, doesn't matter, and it'll show up as a drive in your Explorer window. In that drive, you'll see an HTML file. Just open it, and it'll take you to the embed page for the Max 32620 Featherboard. From here, just click on Add to Compiler, and you're ready to go. From the Compiler window, you'll see that the Max 32620 Featherboard is selected as the active platform. Now from here, you just choose a project and compile it for the platform. Once it's compiled, it'll show up in your downloads folder. Just drag the file to the DAP link drive. The bootloader will take over from there. Soon, your program will be happily running on the Max 32620 Featherboard. Embed is a rich, diverse, easy to use platform, and the Max 32620 Featherboard is a fast, low power, smart beginning to any project. 
So what are you waiting for? Just follow the link on your screen to get started with Max 32620 Feather. We can't wait to see what you can do with it.